Uh, good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon, good evening to you, wherever you are in the world there, in the world that keeps spinning out of control, slowly but quickly, depending how you see it, depending what your angle is, intelligence, character. Yeah, I'm uh, right at the end and beginning of Ogilvy Street in the Park Extension District of Montreal, or as we lovingly call it, Park X. I haven't done a walking video here in a while, I think. Hey, there's a Canadian Pacific uh, Mo vehicle, maintenance of weight. It's a maintenance and repair truck. It's got a high rail system on it, meaning the uh, train wheels, so I can go on the tracks. That's a CP and commuter line as well. There's a Ville de Montréal building over here. There's the scrap there waiting. And uh, yeah, I got this idea on the way here actually, and I'm also down here because Fire Station 41 has got a uh, almost vintage, that's pretty much a vintage ladder truck at this moment. It's a Nova Quintec. I think it's been restored. Uh, they got that as their permanent truck because uh, the uh, because they don't make them as good as they used to, basically. So they, uh, I don't know if it was their older E1 that friggin' crashed or broke a tranny or whatever engine, but that's it, man. So they, uh, they've got that truck assigned to them. So I wanted to see if I can get it responding because I think there's maybe only two, maybe three uh fire trucks from the 90s still in service here in montreal so yeah oh yeah it's the 16 that starts here i don't remember what bus route this thing is here yeah la size graham going to town of mount royal ville mont royal and this here which you'll get a shot of here oh by the way it's still morning here it's like the uh i think we're the 15th today 15th of uh maybe And this right over here, this is Park Metro Station, but the reason why this is such a large and beautiful station, this used to be the Jean Talon train station as to the tracks that are there, as you can see. So, yeah, uh, quite nice actually inside. Still kind of pretty much original. And uh, there's your uh, Arctic scrap probably there for the 80 Park Avenue route. And uh, I think maybe there still might be a part of a streetcar track visible right here on uh, Ogilvy Street. No, actually, no, sorry. This is the worst part here, but they repaved a little bit of ways over there. I actually was here yesterday, but I wasn't feeling well, so my outing was uh, sort of cut short, you know. So as I mentioned, but, but I'm not going to go to the fire station. No, I'm actually going to go. I'm also come down here to see if I can film the freight on this train line because I've gotten freights before like CP and the QGRY but I've never gotten them around here never it was always a commuter I never had the timing so we're gonna go uh, as we say in French of Valonger we're gonna go alongside that track on this first street here and uh, I'm gonna see where we are here look at the, the wasted taxpayer money of course on the long 80 the stupid sidewalks we're doing all the sidewalks that's a nice looking Taurus even though it's rusted it's clean I like those Tauruses uh, so we're at Ogilvy and uh, Zurashi. Whoa, it's a sign. Zurashi, Tabarouette. I just saw my friend Kevin Zurashi. Zurashi, Zurashi. Well, he, that's how they say it. He's from Cornwall. And uh, Zurashi. So Zurashi Street. Look at that. They changed all the sidewalks. Such a waste of money. For crying out loud. Uh, it's hard to uh, deal with these changes for when you see tax dealer dollars being pissed away, let alone, you know, the Arctic scrap or regular STM scrap. It's just stuff like that, you know, it's just last 10, 15 years. <sighs> but it is a beautiful morning. It's cold, it's minus two, but on the other hand, the wind is light. The wind has been terrible the last couple of days, just freaking horrible. And that's why I hate winter is really the wind. It could be minus 10, minus 15. As long as there's no wind, it's not horrible. It's, you can deal with it, you know? I can deal with it as long as I keep moving, generally speaking. Look at this little cat right here, eh? And I'm not talking about a meow. Look at this thing, eh? It's cute. It's like a cute little mini excavator. Yeah, so you know, by the way, I have to mention, of course, every time I come around here and do a walking video, that there's a, uh, more of uh, Indians that live there. And I mean Indians as in like also Pakistani, not, you know, not like uh, Indians from Native American or Canadian or anything. And uh, then there's some remaining Greeks here, and then there's everybody else. Uh, so I like this neighborhood. I would see myself living here. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's old, like Hoshalaga, as you can see, or almost, and it's diverse people, really. And uh, I don't know, just I like it. And uh, obviously, I have respect for these two types of folks, you know. I mean, like I say often, uh, 
you'll hear me say if you know me, like, I'm not prejudiced, I hate everybody equally. And I think that's true. I think generally, generally speaking, I mean, I don't care if you're a priest or uh, you're a saint. I mean, we're all like that. We just, you know what I mean? I mean, imagine people live in the countryside, you know, they've never been to the city, man. They're like, they're, they're even worse because they're not assimilated to other cultures, other ethnicities, you know what I mean? So, uh, a lot of times... Or there are people from the city and they move to the country because they can't stand, like, the changes, you know. It's funny, I should come to think of it, I've told people, I've, you know, I've come to dislike certain changes about the city, obviously, a lot of things. And I think uh, I came to realize this year or last year that if, if I had been born with normal eyesight as a car guy, you know, I wouldn't live here. I'd be living off island somewhere. I don't know where. But, uh, yeah, so we're walking north here, walking north, northerly with me here. And I want to get to that first. There's a crossing, pedestrian crossing on one of these cross streets here. I don't think it's this one coming up. I think it's the next one. Uh, and uh, just to uh, see if I can get that freight, especially the QGRY. CP trains are kind of rare there, but the QGRY y trains, they run too every, every day, one going south, one going north. Uh, going north to, you know, Quebec City and then Trois-Rivières and all that. And, uh, but yeah, I feel in great shape today, though. It's the funny thing. Yesterday, I was like, oh, God almighty, the hernia was hurting me, the freaking pericarditis. So, you see, I think that if I had made the mistake like yesterday and stopped at the Tim Hortons, that's on Jean Talon over there, if I had stopped there, I think my heart would not have been happy with me like yesterday. That's the thing. There's a failure of a Dodge, eh? This Dakota. The Dodge Dakota was always a good-looking truck, and then they revamped it, you know, like, what, 10, 12, 13 years ago, whatever. It just doesn't look good. That Tercel is a better looking car than that stupid Dakota. But maybe it's because it's ugly. One day it'll actually be worth something. Who knows? Eh? Hmm? Eh? Hmm? Look at this oldie, eh? Look at all the windows that are fucking all boarded up there. Eh? Eh? Of course, me, I often forget the uh, cross streets here. I think this is uh, Saint Roch. Yeah, this is Saint Roch. I only remember because the, uh, the fire station's a block away, and sometimes I used to sit right over here. A few blocks down there uh, on at the corner of Champagne. I'll see if I get the uh, fire truck or trucks responding. Yeah, I think the crossing might be down there. I'm gonna go take a look. Now I can actually, even me as blind as I am, I can actually see from here that there's no crossing there. I think if there was a crossing on the street, I would notice it from here even. So, and by the way, if you're not familiar with my videos, my favorite food is Indian food. And yes, yes, I'm a white man, so I love that butter chicken, man. I could eat it almost every day. Even though I have a friend, my friend Andre. Hey, what's up, Andre? If you see this, he's Pakistani, you know, originally, but he's Canadian. And he, he laughs at me when I say about the butter chicken. He's like, oh, you white people with the butter chicken. That's hilarious. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'll show myself, not to show this lady while she's texting and walking. Eh? Holy mackerel, look at this old garage over here. Ah, yoy. Any oldies in here? Looks like there should be a freaking pacer in there or something, or an F F100 from the 50s or something, you know? It's all dilapidated. It probably has to be knocked down when it's that... When it looks that bad, chances are a roof isn't too good a shape, eh? Freaking doors are all open there. It's like an abandoned car there back in the freaking uh, the Bronx back in the 80s. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the guts are ripped out of it. Everything's gone. Wheels, doors, glass, chrome. Everything's just gone. It's just a shell or a burned out shell. I know, man. I've, you know, I didn't live there. I didn't live back then as, as an adult, but I've seen enough magazines, National Geographic and videos and so forth. You know, I know what they, I know, man. I know. Yeah, these old apartment buildings, eh? They look like so many buildings in different parts of town, like, for example, Saint Michel, Saint Leonard, La Salle, uh, uh, maybe Ville Saint Laurent. You know, that, that with the white and the white and the beige bricks, 1950s, 60s, you know. Kind of like this one, though, with the red and white there. It's got kind of a Christmas feely kind of thing. Where are the interesting cars at? Jesus Christ, everything's boring around here. It's as bad as where I live. Putain, but it's nice and quiet. Can I stay quiet? Let's see how long I can stay quiet for. Oh, I said the 14th, the 15th. 
Come on, you think I was going to stay quiet for minutes on end? Way on, Ona. These old Tercels and Corollas, eh? they just last forever, these things. Yeah, Chrysler could never learn from that, eh? Chrysler, GM, even Nissan. I watched a guy's video yesterday, a guy I'm subscribed to. He's huge, hugely popular. He probably has half a million subscribers by now. And a lot of you guys, you know, Mr. Regular Car Reviews there, Roman and his uh, entourage. And he, he tested a 2022 uh, Ultima. I don't think he had anything good to say about it. I was so surprised. I was like, wow, you know, like it's a Japanese car. But yeah, just goes to show you, Nissan has gone downhill in quality big time. Look how old these houses are, eh? Holy cow, how old do you think that is? Matter of fact, I should uh, maybe get a cross, go across, get a... I don't know, I'm going to guess 30s, 20s. Because you can see it's not really that much houses, eh? Like that kind. It's mostly like townhouses, apartment buildings, and and the like. I wonder if that... Uh, I wonder if that pedestrian crossing for the tracks is over here, eh? That way I can go take a break from here. I might even... I don't know. I, I'm i thinking maybe I'll film this until uh, Highway Metropolitan, until the street ends, I think. But I don't know if I'm going to go that far. There's Ball Street. Yeah, there's a street. Did I ever do a walking video on? I don't know. But let's just zoom in on this... Uh, Jetliner over here going by there, getting uh, heading friggin' uh, north there. Let's zoom in on that baby. Flying at like, you know, I don't know, 30,000 feet or whatever, 40,000. It looks to be, I don't know, maybe Air France. Actually, no, it looks like it could actually be uh, British Airways. It's a friggin' huge plane though. Can you believe the zoom on this thing? That's why I still have this camera. It's why I love it. I keep using it. I just love the zoom. It's a friggin' amazing. I can see a fire truck responding fucking five blocks away down there. No problem. I love it. Ah, it's here. I remember this right here. So, uh, wait, is it here? Uh, it should be. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a break there and hang out there and see if I get lucky with the trains. And if not, I will regardless continuously walk in a moment. Well, after having taken a break on that bench nicely in the sun for a few minutes, I figure it's time to go back and rock and roll here. Also, I want to wrap up this walking video to uh, see again if I can focus on catching a freight on that line there. And uh, also because, uh, unfortunately, I think it's going to cloud over again, which is very typical in the winter because of the cold. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it'll be sunny in the morning, and then uh, it, just, it just clouds over. Look, you can see all the clouds down there coming from the west. You know what I mean? So it's all the more reason for me to wrap this up. Anyway, later on, I got to go home and work on uh, Ed's painting. And I don't mean Ed, my friend Ed here much. I mean my friend Ed in uh, Georgia. And uh, yeah, I got to do some work. Uh, maybe a customer is going to come by. And, uh, and look at this. This is a new thing now, a new regular thing I see because these stupid sidewalks are enlarged on corners. Look, you see people park like this now. They don't give a shit, man, you know. So, you know, that's uh, that's that wonderful mirror we have there, that wonderful mirror. I just absolutely love. Not at all. At all. There you look, it's so calm and quiet here. How about I just walk in the street for a minute? What do you think? We'll see how long it takes for a car to come. Eh? I'm not worried, I got my eyeball. Yeah, typical street lights are on everywhere. I don't know, maybe the mirror thinks it's a way to deter crime or something. Eh? I don't know. Je sais pas là. Je sais pas là. Oh, see, there we go. Yeah, continuing north on Zurashi, Zurashi. I don't think this is a very long street actually because the track, I noticed when I was sitting down, the train track, it starts to come in diagonally like that. So this, I think this, this is going to end over there actually. And that'd be amazing actually if, because uh, there is a street that runs alongside uh, up until the Metropolitan. That's kind of neat. I don't know if it's this street though. It probably is. I'm not sure really. I don't know. So, uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just tie in the two, whatever, together if it's too short anyway. So, you know what I mean? You see this Jeep Patriot? You know, when these came out, I remember I had a friend who worked at a Chrysler dealer. Uh, I think it was a guy about my age, and he said that the, those, those Jeeps, uh, Jeeps, Jeep by name, were made for women because it's just it looks like an SUV but it's not really it's not a 4x4 you know what I mean it's cheap 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 you know that's what that is it's a fake shit even the uh, the famous 1957 uh, Jeep FC 150 FC standing for forward control which was a little cab over a truck usually like service stations would have those to plow snow and stuff you know and 
and for towing things like that they were tough little things you know i mean that's uh that was brilliant that was a real four by four little truck little mini truck you know oh that's what i thought look we're approaching uh jari jari street uh, excuse me I'm, I'm proud of myself i resisted having a third coffee within like three hours it was good hey look at that that's kind of neat eh what's that made of is that plastic it probably is i don't know different different it's different so i'm gonna see how we're gonna get around here i'm assuming the street continues over there i do remember making a video of an old international bluebird that was parked here was it a bluebird or was it a uh uh, uh jesus christ i haven't seen one of those in such a while i forgot the bloody name of it it was made here uh in quebec oh my god i feel stupid now i'm gonna have to edit this out maybe not a Demaris, that's the ambulance, a friggin, uh, uh, oh, well, look, there's one there, but it's, it's a bluebird, it's not a, and there's a satellite broadcast tower, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I need to find a sign on the other side there to see if this is still the same street, it probably is. Where is the sign, though? Où est la pancarte? I see. How the hell would I? I'm gonna have to go over there. Well, logically, it does continue, so it's just sometimes you never know, eh? I mean, you never know. It'll be one street and a different street, and they're not even, and they're parallel to each other, you know? Well, not parallel, but you know, it's just, you know what I mean. Look at that old gas station, eh? That looks like it's been there a long time. What is that, a Crevier? Crevier, yeah, this is Charlie Street there. We're gonna continue on over here. Continue. I thought it would be kind of cool if I got a freight right over Zari Street. That'd be different, you know? Right? So the story goes is that this part of town, again, as I said, like it's called Park X, which is short for Park Extension. This actually used to be more Greeks than anything. And uh, wow, check this guy out. He's got an old Tercel from the mid -night, late 90s. And he's got a 79 Quebec plate on it, which oddly enough is like A1. That's weird. They, uh, that's uh, allowed because that was the first year for the uh, Quebec white uh, plates with the blue letters. Uh, every year they were different. I forgot what the hell I was talking about now. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. Damn it the hell. Shit. That's the only trouble when you're doing one. And you know what? Come to think of it, speaking of being distracted, I, I kept saying, I think, in a couple of videos, I was going to do a bilingual video, and I keep forgetting to do that. So eventually I'm going to remember to do that and make a bilingual bilingual narrated video, and everybody's going to be happy, right? Look at this, eh? Like a mosque or something. Look at that elephant. It's beautiful. Oh, there's a bluebird there. And two elephants. You know, there's certain people who would see uh, this as a symbol as a threat. Not me. I don't. I don't care. I mean, again, if it was, uh, if everybody was white in the city or any city, how boring would that be? What's wrong with having, you know, it's great to be able to 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 have a friend or a family member and say, hey, let's go have Chinese. Hey, let's go have uh, Caribbean food. Let's go have Indian food. Let's go have, you know what I mean, French food. Whatever. That's uh, that's the beauty of life is diversification. Even though, unfortunately, I hate to admit, I mean, you know, sometimes it's a bit much. You know, uh, uh, certain areas like this, uh, I'm like basically a minority. Especially Ville Saint Laurent. I mean, it's just I'm, I stick out like a sore thumb. Not just because I'm I'm tall, but I'm a tall white guy. He is almost middle aged. So it's interesting. Sociologically speaking, I guess. Oh boy, this, these gloves, these new gloves I got—they're not great for holding the camera. The camera's like slipping away there. Slip sliding away. Slip sliding away. Man, look at the old awnings on these buildings. I like that. Imagine back in the day, there'd be like a 72, 73 Plymouth Fury here, a Dodge Dart, a Plymouth Valiant, a Falcon, a Maverick, a Corolla, a big LeSabre. You know what I mean? Yeah, buddy. Back in the day, man. I could continue if you want. You know, a Mercury Montego, a Mercury Monterey, Mercury Park Lane, a Meteor Rideau, a Meteor uh, Montcalm. And, and, of course, there's a Chevy Impala, a Biscayne, a Bel Air, a Nova, a Chevy 2, a Chevelle. Yeah, I 
probably mention all of them actually. If I want to. How's my battery doing? Should be doing good. It's fully charged. Okay. Is there a street here on the corner, or does this con doesn't look like it continues? Eh? Okay, this is a bit longer than I thought, but yeah, you see, I think the street ends right over there, and the tracks are right there. So that's where I'm going to walk a little slower after I finish this video and see if I can have the timing to finally get a freight on this this line here, this particular part of the line. The only time I ever got a QGRY line was way down there, down that way, on uh, by Jean Talon, Wilderton Street, and De Carry. You know what I mean? Hopefully, uh, as we say in French, ça débouche la bois, on, on clogs over there, I can continue, I hope. I'm, I'm assuming, I, if I remember correctly. So I'd like to take this guy in time to thank you guys. Thank you guys very much for watching, and you know, I much appreciate your loyalty, especially, and your positive comments. Check me out on Patreon, I post uh, pictures, uh, generally speaking, of things uh, that are not, I don't put on Facebook or whatever. It's really for Patreon uh, members. Whether you want to chip in a couple of bucks, five bucks a month, uh, 20 bucks, that'd be much appreciated. As you know, I'm uh, not a rich man. Even this nice coat there, it's already a few years old. It wasn't even mine. I got this from uh, my aunt when my uncle died. It's like a $200 coat. And, uh, just out of here, I have some trucking. Trucking industry over there, I guess. I don't know what. Industrial over there. See, look at these buildings, eh? It's funny, look at these buildings. You can see they're only so many years old. They're not really old, and but their style is just like all the old buildings you just saw. It's the same style. Same type of sixplex, duplex, whatever. Oh man, actually there is a curve here. It does continue. Uh, I should be slowing down, actually. Oh well, at least I'm going downhill. And uh, what else can I tell you? Always be, if you follow my videos closely, there's always going to be a lot of a lot of uh, videos coming up. I mean, look, tomorrow actually, like right now, you saw I showed the uh, the temperature. It's, uh, well, I didn't show you the temperature. I showed you the date and all that. And it's sunny and it's, it's the winds are light, but tomorrow, tonight is supposed to snow and tomorrow it's gonna snow. So that's quite the contrast. Uh, and uh, I don't think there'll be any snow removal, but uh, however, it looks like there's gonna be a little sprinkles of, sprinkles of snow in the next few days even. So that, that might get interesting, I think. And as usual for November, winter always comes just like that bang, you know, like with a heavy, a lot of snow and, uh, yeah, yeah, so I remember right, yeah, you see the street does continue all the way to, uh, the 40. Look, this would almost be a good place to actually film a freight right here. I'll tell you one thing, if I hear a freight coming, I'm going to have to fucking scramble over here and run over here or over there somewhere, because there's some places are good, there's trees. I hear a bunch of kids nearby, that's great, I don't like filming when there's a bunch of kids nearby. People get neurotic. You know, like, what are you doing? Taking pictures, blah, blah, blah. And, you know. What's that I hear? I heard a train coming, actually. You know, it's some trucking going on over there. Some heavy rigs there, you know? You see that scrap bus over there? That's the start of the uh, 80 route. Oh, way back in the day, that was one of those routes, man. It was all filled with, filled with classic buses. And look at that fence. Looks like something drove right into it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there were a couple, two, three times though, where I did actually walk this road, because if you go after the 40, this road continues, I don't know if it's still Zeroche, but, it, it, and then it really becomes a, an area for back parking lots of the uh, Marché Centre shopping center. Look at that, that's a great view right there, minus graffiti. And uh, yeah, I've walked that a few times to see if I could get a freight, but it never happened. So, let's see here where we are in the shiz. There's often an old Bluebird school bus parked on the right there. Ironically, that shitbox electric bus is coming this way. Where is the sign? Où est la pancarte? I don't know what street this is anymore. Oh, this one's a diesel, actually. Yeah, that's what they should have stuck with. And then I saw Biden, that turd. He gave this huge contract to this company, the Lion Bus Bus Company here in Quebec, to, to have all the apparently I think all the school buses in the U.S. high schools or schools whatever to be all electric. And yet at the same time, as I found out through my friend Dave, the uh, in China they're building like record numbers of coal mines or coal power plants. I mean. What a topsy-turvy world has become. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
I tried to find a street sign here. I don't know. I don't know what street this is anymore, so... Might as well just keep filming, I guess. There's a, uh... There's a, actually a, um... There's a uh, Montreal uh, Public Works garage coming up here, actually. Maybe that's actually a good way to finish, come to think of it. Yeah. And, uh, I'm also showing myself because I don't want to show the bus driver here in this shitbox 2009 piece of junk over here. The only good thing about these goddamn shitboxes is if you're actually riding in this part right here. If you're in the trailer, I never go back here. It's a nightmare, unless you're on a smooth road. Oh, you guys got the startup scrap. Startup. Oh, look at that Camry there, eh? Look at that Camry, he's in good shape. Look at that, circa 1992 to uh, 90... When they make these till, 96? Look, this would be a great spot to film the freight. And I think it's in good shape, actually. I filmed one of these once in my area. I almost should film this one. It's just that nobody cares about these cars. I mean, the Accord was a better looking car. That thing is clean, though. I'm tempted now, I have to say, I'm quite tempted. Hmm, it's clean, good shape, typical color. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I like the bluer one in my area because it was a rarer in that color. So, all right guys, well, I'm fed up of filming now. I think enough is enough. Uh, I'm going to assume this is still Zeroche. I don't think it is Zeroche. I think it's become whatever the hell that street where it curved off of was, so, you know. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.